gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's great to have you here. I'm going to let you tell us about yourself. Oh, okay. Frank Mills is my name, but I'm popularly known as Prof. Uh, due to one or two teachings that I do. Um, I'm a mechanical engineer by profession. Apart from that, I'm also into business. I'm an entrepreneur. Um, and also, uh, there are two things also I do behind the scenes. That is marriage counseling and um, career counseling. The marriage then, counseling is very popular. He doesn't <laughs> want to talk about it. It's not behind the scenes. It's yes. in the scenes. Then the, the last but not the least, I'm also into health research. So I do health research. I, I do health screening. And as well, I do um, health education for organizations and institutions as well. He has his own machine. So I have machines for the... <laughs> for reflexology the, and all yes, of those. And then, so a bit of this yes, reflexology. Okay, I do palm reflexology. I can I can use your palm to heal you if you have a problem. <laughs> so Looks that's like a little I do. Looks like you're multi-talented. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. You know, before you go to the grave, you have a lot to offer. And um, my mentor taught me something that we have so much in us, and anything that you set your mind doing, you can do it. Only if you learn how to. So. I, I am open-minded, I'm a, I'm a learner, let me put it that way. So everything, so long as it can help humanity and it will be of value, why not? If you have the talent, I'll help out. So that's a little about me. Right. <laughs> okay, well, I am that I am, somebody might say. <laughs> I, I, I teach in, the, in three universities. I, I've been doing that from infancy. I've been doing everything. I have sold, I have sold chicken, I've sold charcoal, I have sold clothes, I've sold all kinds. I've done gardening, I've done farming. All of this was going to school. So I do that, but I learn a lot. So I have five degrees that I now um, use, but I'm not a believer that be degrees can do great things in your life. That is why I do this business, because I believe that you can't rely on a single source of income for the rest of your life. You can't depend on where you are, because dark times can just fly you away. If you were living in Ukraine, and you were dependent on one thing, and one thing alone is gone. Okay. So if you've developed yourself in other capacities, as a refugee in another country, you will be useful at that time. So, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's a career sin to say that I'm a doctor, I'm a lawyer, I'm an engineer. No, put that title away. Say you're a learner. Mm. Because you learn to be a doctor, you learn to be an engineer, you learn to be a lawyer. You can learn your way to be anything you want to become. And that is a good thing. Because once you say you are a photographer, you are this, you have restricted yourself to that area and that area alone. As if you, you see, that's why most entrepreneurs are multi talented, multi faceted. Because that entrepreneur is an accountant, he's a lawyer, he's a CEO, he's a you know, sales manager, he's a marketing manager, he's a production manager, he's everything. Such people do well in life. So that's where I think I'm going. I'm doing so many things at the same time. <laughs> the reason I asked you both to come uh, and, 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 and talk to us is I heard from both of you um, a few months back, maybe a year back when we did, uh, when we did the first interview. Uh, I was so taken by the story that I want you to tell that story and we're going to dive in and explore a little bit. Because um, one of the problems we have in network marketing is that people don't understand that it's a business. They don't understand that they're in business for themselves, which means that when they run into trouble or they don't have money to do their auto ship, which is the uh, uh, yes, fundamental condition mm. to qualify to get paid commissions, mm. they turn to their upline mm. and ask the upline to do the auto ship for them, meaning buy the product for me 
so I can qualify to get paid. So, tell me the story. What what happened? I've been a network marketer. I think from twenty oh um, six. Um, being a veteran in the um, you know, jumping marketing. from one jumping. place to the other. <laughs> I was uh, in court. Um, story from my language. Uh, Network prostitutes. Okay. Uh, what means is that um, I was jumping from one network marketing. Now I can count up once about 15 network marketing companies I've been with. So I got to a time that I said, enough is enough. I'm no longer doing network marketing. Simply because I didn't have the fundament. I didn't understand what network marketing is all about. And as you know, network marketers had always been like, hey, there's money here, come. Hey, man, this one is booming. Yeah, this is new. Hey, they, <laughs> and we we're just chasing money. Until I found Dr. Sari, and he introduced me. But he had a funny way of introducing me to um, the business again. He told me that um, the people are coming for you, not for the product. So I need to develop myself and ask me some couple of questions like, he really, really looked at the, um, the, the whole concept before getting into it. Is that what you really want? Uh, and the questions were just, I was like, what's this guy talking about? I've been in network marketing. It's all about jumping there, get the money, and then you leave. He started introducing me to books because probably he is an academia, introducing me to books. And I realized that I had everything wrong. I had everything wrong. So my desire to be with him as a then wasn't necessarily for the business, but I was hungry for knowledge. Um, why the A, A, the A people work for the C people and the B people work for the government? Uh, books like Think and Grow Rich. I mean, these things were not my kind of books because typically of an engineer, my books were textbooks, 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 articles about new engineering thing, this concept. So I realized that the whole thing is a new thing all to me. So my hunger to learn more, he got me into this business. Now, to cut this long hula loose short, I got into the business for about one and a half years. I was helping people, giving people insight and stuff. But he told me one thing that for me, he wants me to learn the hard way. He wants me to really go through the mail. Because I was there, he was paying um, authorship for people. And whatever, you look, if you look at it, it's like, we look alike. Uh -huh. So everybody knows that, oh, for your brother, you don't have a problem, he will do everything for you. So in April 2020, right? Yes, 2020, during the COVID, yeah. God being so good, everything of mine went upside down. All my businesses, everything, everything, everything went down. Having, having four children, I mean, it was just so hard then so I was like, this is my turning point. Let me give up. I want to give up. I want to quit. After all, what? I mean, this is not the, the end of my life. And this is not the only thing that will do or undo me. Then I called Dr. Sari. I upline. Um, so this month, yeah, I think you need to come in. You have to do something for me. Because I've seen you do for many people. Then he told me, Frank, if I do for you for the first time, I will continue. And for you, you are not like any other person. So for you, I will not do it. Before God and man, I look at the skies as God. <laughs> oh my God. Did he tell me that? doing for other people and me is telling me this then I got back to myself and I I told myself that look 
Why were you with him? Why were you with him? Is it for the authorship? Or there is something in him you want to tap that you've not gotten? Now, it's two things. If you quit, everything goes away with it. If you press on, who knows tomorrow? And I want to just quickly jump in so that you know, we get why I said those things. Because we have been doing a lot of things together. We eat together, we move together, we are coming to the office together. So as far as he was concerned, it's like I can easily do his auto ships for him. You know? But I have done it for other people and I've seen that it's never helped them. So it's not a matter of emotion. It was a matter of realizing that he has got the capacity to do better in this. So if I tow his line with those other people, he will flop. Because all of those that I did that for, they flopped. I did that for my brother for four years, non-stop auto ship. Okay? Got him to silver, and then he flopped to zero, nothing else. So I've seen it. Okay? And I will give him food to eat. I will, we will have lunch together. We will go for dinner together. But to build your auto ship for you is your responsibility. If I should start, I have started him on a, a very wrong journey. He will drop, and I've seen that many times. And so I told him that I will not do it. If he will go, he should go. But I will help him to build his business. How? I will do third party credibility for him. He will call the people to me, I will talk to them for him. He can organize the people, he will invite me, I will talk to them for him while he listens. I will close the people for him. He will do the organization, I will come in and close. I will do all of this, but to actually take money and do that for him, that is his responsibility and so, that time okay. wasn't easy yeah i know he would say it wasn't easy he was everything that was down time things were was, tough wasn't easy because that time one of the problem was it was locked down um the lockdown started much so you couldn't go out you couldn't do seminars you couldn't organize anything those times i go out with my machines like i was telling you and so so everything was just at a standstill and it it was a decisive time but one thing i've re realized in life is everything you go through whilst you're growing up has something to do in your future when i was growing up my life wasn't this um in, in courts, we call it Dada B, the Ajabota, I mean, the, 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 the all cooked for you thing. If I should tell my story. Yeah, that's for another day. That's for that's another, another day. day. So okay. So what, what, I, what, what I would love mm. you to maybe clarify for me, you being in is it's simply that every network marketing company requires that to qualify to get paid commissions you need to buy products those that's if the company is legitimate that's at least, at least that's what i know so now this is your friend mm. this is your mentor this mm. is the guy who got you into the business mm. and the day you need it, Mm. the most mm. you don't have money to do your auto mm. which means you might lose the points you've accumulated, you have accumulated the yes you've accumulated mm. throughout your your history with the company mm. how did that make you feel like i was telling you the feeling wasn't a smiling feeling <laughs> it wasn't a smiling feeling because i didn't even have food for my wife and children and I have to think about this business. And do ownership. And do ownership. Christ in me. <laughs> what? <laughs> but yes, like I was telling you, what you go through when you are young has something to do in your future. I have always created for myself that irrespective of whoever in your life, it doesn't matter who the, whether the person is your father your mother, your auntie, your uncle, whoever it is. When he says no to you, the person is not your God. 
That is one. Two, if the person said no today and you quit, you don't know what tomorrow holds that that person will be of a greater value than what you're going for. So I told myself that, fine. Probably there is something he's, it's not like he doesn't have the money to do it. But probably he has, there is something he's seen. So whatever be it, let me push forward. That was what I told myself. Yeah. And, what, and, 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 and that was his decision. Let me push forward. Let me push so forward. I told him now if you want to, I, I, I told him blunt. I said, look, you can go if you want to go. But if you want to build this thing, you got to make your auto ship. Then let's start. Okay, he says let that, my wife, blah, blah, blah. I said, look, come home. Let's start. This was in the lockdown. Things were really hard. You know, in the lockdown, I said, come home. Come and stay. Decide on which days you want. Come home. We will make the calls together. We will start. He was not a, a senior associate. He was just associate. Associates, beginner. Then. You know. And that was April. Okay. So, from, from, so you were just... You didn't have any signups. I didn't have the no. signups. I had some. They left. Yeah, all of them. So as a then, Not I was an associate. You were an associate. Yeah. Mm. Okay, that means you are. That's the lowest. The rank lowest. I don't even make. Company. Yeah. I don't the even beginning. make. Um. At that point, you're not making any money. No. No. You're, exactly. You're Live five years. Yeah. You have at least two people, two people right. on your one left on and your left, one on your right. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. At that point, you weren't making any money. At all. Uh, and you had to do the auto ship every month. Mm. What did that feel like to be investing in this company and you're, you are not making any money at that point? What, what, what was that experience like? I believe one thing, that when I studied the comp plan, I realized that you work today you are paid tomorrow. You work today, you are paid tomorrow. And most of the people even that came into my life later are people I've worked on a year, one and a half years, that they came to me in the end. So I was, and be, the, what was even driving me more was the education that I was getting from him. So, so here's the thing. If he wasn't getting that from me, he would have gone. I've gone. So, so it's not about just the auto ship or it's about just the money, but there was something I was giving him beyond this. Beyond, beyond. And knowledge Value. is sweet. Knowledge Value. is sweet, like, like somebody gives you money. Mm. Okay, that's why Hosea falls success, lack of it, people perish. Mm. So I was making sure that the books he has to read, the information he needs to build his mind up, to stabilize his pain, to discipline his disappointment, I'll give him those. So I'll give him the internal inspiration, not the external motivation. Okay. So what I'm hearing is that you knew if you gave him the money, that's the easy way out. Yeah. He will, he will not have the toughness of incentive mind. to mm. learn what he needs to learn mm. to acquire the skills necessary for success. In exactly. Business. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But at the time, you didn't understand. No, 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 no. He was, he was no. just, he wasn't ready. At that day, you know, let me give you this scenario. When you are in pain or when, when you are sick, do you ever think of yourself that you've ever been well? No. Good. That's the feeling I can describe no, to it, you. It feels like it's never going to end. It's yeah. like, that's, the first, that's how you were born. Even when you have malaria and you're going through the pain, the process of the pain, you feel like that you were born to endure that pain. That was how the feeling was. You get it. But until the, you have something, if, you, if your principles or something greater than your pain is not activated, forget it, you'll quit. So I had something I was holding on to greater than the pain I was going through then. Because I had issues in my marriage, issues with my colleagues, issues with family. They couldn't understand why are you still holding on? Is it the, this yeah. is the last thing? Okay. But guess you what? When I didn't quit, 
and I be, there is a book, um, The Magic of Thinking, thinking big. big, says something that you, don't, you just need to think about it. Prepare your mind for it. And the universe. And another book, um, uh, Which one? The Alchemist. Yeah, by tell you Paolo. Paolo. When you, yes. When you make up your mind, the universe will converge and make sure you're your happens. personal legend. Your personal legend. Do you know, on the 20, 20, is it 28th or 29th? I had 400 Ghana cities. Wait, you were translating to about 45, 46 yeah, so dollars. dollars. Yeah. And that time I was torn to make the greatest decision, and this decision I will never forget. That time the ownership was 700 Ghana cities. But if I'm able to make half ownership, then that is to buy a pack of solidarity. I'll be able to sustain my my your business. My business. And I look into my wife's face as I'm <laughs> going to do authorship. This this is, this thing I'm telling you today nearly caused my marriage. And nearly caused my marriage. I said, Mommy. Let me do it anyway. We have no idea what tomorrow holds. Let me get her a try. I went for the auto ship. And the 30th, somebody called me that he needed a product. So I gave it out and we had our money back. Mm -hmm. Then my wife started smiling again. That was April. May. June, I became a senior associate. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you didn't just become you're, that yeah, senior associate. You're, 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 you're skipping. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. When we've gone through something traumatic, mm. when the, in the recounting, oh, there's a lot of details yeah. that we we unconsciously chose to let go. Let go. <laughs> so yeah. please. Yeah, yeah. Before he became that senior associate in 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 in, what in June. June, there were a lot of things. We put times in place. I told him to come to the house. We were making calls. He will make the call and then he would do it. Sometimes I uh, you make the call, he'll give it to me. I'll do the third part. We we're making calls. Then he started registering. Now, that accountability partnership started. We were registering people just like others were. In fact, there was a whole idea that the, the whole business has come to an end because COVID has brought everything yes. down. And then we were making the call. Sometimes when he had to come to my house, his family would complain. Why did he have to do all that trouble to come to the house? But I said, look, if you want to make it work, we have to do this. We have to do this. You've got to make a decision that by the end of this year, you have achieved it. And so we were just going, we, watch, we had times to watch motivational videos. We had time to make the calls, time to make follow-ups, time to make presentations. I had to go through the presentations with him, how he would do it and everything. We were doing, then I say rehearse. Can you imagine how many times he was rehearsing? Today, he does it without even thinking about it. We were rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing and rehearsing. Okay. And then sometimes, initially when I was doing the third party, I would do it, then he would listen. At some point, I would do it, I let him do it, then I would chip in something in the end. At some point, he was doing it all by himself. And that started bringing in the people like that. And then in June, it happened. I became a senior associate. I became a senior associate in June. Not just two people. You know, he was a senior associate with more than, more than 10 two, people yes. left and right. Left and right, yeah. Okay. Then I became bronze. Okay, so uh, how much time has elapsed between um, the day he told you, I will help you, but I will not do a worship for you? How much time has, has elapsed between the two? Just two months. Two months? Yeah. So you went from just being an associate uh, to a we, senior associate. To a senior associate. In one month. Within, in one month. In, in a month. Within, in a a, month. within 30 days. 30 yeah. days, yeah. Okay. And then between then and now, what has happened? Yeah, then the following finished. month, I moved from senior associate to bronze. 
Then the following month, I became silver. I repeated the, um, the silver the following month. Then the next month, I became gold. Okay. I mean, this, for, <laughs> for those who are in the business, who understand what we're And this was COVID. It's, this is like exceptional performance. Yeah. Mm. Right? I know personally a lot of people in the business, they have two ranks. Mm. One paid rank and one uh, paid rank. Mm. Right? This is the highest they've achieved, but right now they may, they may be gold, but they're getting paid silver or they're getting paid mm. bronze. Yeah. Mm. Right? To be able to perform at the same level, which means your pink rank is exactly the same as your paid rank. Paid rank. Yeah. That means you have built an organization that is self-sustained. Perfect. And that takes a tremendous amount. It goes beyond just the recruiting. Yeah. Mm. It takes a tremendous amount of work. The day you became gold, uh, what, what happened? Yeah. The day I became gold, hmm. <laughs> It slept, okay, let, let's make it slept in, fact, in my house. I slept over. I think it was three days, right? Yes. Yeah. You couldn't go home? Yes. I, I, I came, I came, I think, on the Thursday, getting to Friday. So I slept Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. In fact. Why? Why did you? In fact, the workload we did within that three days. Yes. Was enormous. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. What What were you doing? We're making calls. We're bringing people that we, we were. The messages that we were preparing for those people were different. We pushed even as at late as twelve o'clock. We we're still making calls. It's like that thirty-day challenge that um, Eric Warren does. And it's getting to the last minute, and you've not hit your target. You that see, was the drive. There, there is more we one can do in a short time than we can even imagine, but we underestimate it. Mm. Okay, there is a book. Emerson says that success is buried right underneath mm -hmm. your frustration. Your frustration. And when you are frustrated, and you want it. Mm you will get it mm -hmm. because you will do whatever it takes to make that happen and so whilst it might look like we cannot even call somebody at 10 p.m and the person is going to be angry at us and will not want to pay and even send money to pay or to do other shape we were calling people at 10 o'clock calling people at 11 o'clock 12 midnight and they were willing to listen to us willing to make a payment at that time yeah. And so, and it was because we, we threw all cautions to the wind. We burned the ships. We said, you either win or you perish. You know? And that, that decision on us, and people can see the, 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 the enthusiasm, the zeal within us. And so that infected them. And so, even though it was COVID time, we're in a lockdown time and all of that, we, we set up Zooms, we set up programs where people were to be watching. What is going on? You know, that you have to be part. Some were doing conference calls. We have to do some conference calls. Sometimes stay on the conference call for long whilst others are listening and watching what is happening. It was a determination to do that, you know. And, and eventually, he didn't just achieve the goal. He achieved the goal and went way past it to 17,000 volumes and so. And the powerful thing is that for that three days, I didn't even take my bath. Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> that is how, how bad Hungry, I wanted yeah. it. All I did, I can remember, was just brush my teeth and then come on it. We need to do this, this, monitor this, monitor that, monitor that. We need to read this. We need to get this. this There's a lot of volume analysis this, and when you really want to this go message. Somewhere. And we ignore it. We don't log in. A lot of people don't log in to even see what is happening at mm. their back office. You have to monitor mm. the back of which ones have done auto chip, 
Why have this one? Why is it that somebody did an authorship last month but has not done it this month? What is the reason? These are the people who want to call first. This guy has gotten one person registered. He just needs another one to become a senior associate. This person has four. He needs one more to get prime level one. What is happening? They don't know. We have to log in and get it for them. And so we start calling, hey, you got to get this thing done. You got to get this thing done. You got to get this thing done. We were making those calls. I didn't know. I said, hey, give me one person to talk to for you. I need 10 people. Can you quickly do a conference call? I took to five for you. It has to happen. What time can it happen? We put it down. We were just going. Like I told you, the messages were not one. It's not one message for all. It's the message was tailored Good. to the needs to individuals. So just imagine talking to almost about 300 to 400 people within three days. That's a lot of calls. A lot. Yeah. It, was, it was now or never thing. I've, I've, I've been through life, but I've, I've never gone past my limit like that never and i must say that he was also coachable because he was he was right he was going through tough times uh, and for me you also have to go through tough time in your moment of pain mm. if you go you see when you're rock bottom and you are still able to come out clean from that side then you are stronger so in his moment of pain i wanted him to redeem himself in front of the family because they were beginning to insult him. They were beginning to just malign him and all that. And I said, look, you've got to win. You've got no choice. You've got to make sure and let them know that this is it. Can you imagine when he had to travel with a wife, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for all the trips and all of that. <laughs> okay. So it sounds to me like in this, uh, on this adventure, you both have learned some very valuable lessons. And... Now that's, that's what I want to take out. Mm. So if I ask you, throughout this ordeal, what are the things that you have learned that keep you going to this day? What would you say? I've learned a lot. Give me, give me three. Okay, three. Mm -hmm. One, I've realized that you can achieve anything if you put your mind on. That is one. Two, quitters don't make history. Quitters don't make history. And my third thing is that your story, irrespective of how it is, is noise until you win. Then your story that nobody is interested in will become a motivational story for someone else because you have won. In short, that's what I will say. Because I realized that irrespective of how you feel, and now in this present age, it's not about how miserable you feel or how rejected you feel that people will have pity for you. It's about what do you have to show what do you have under your sleeves that I can help you with? You know, going with the days, if you, if you are very good in telling a sad story, everybody rally behind you and give you help, right? But now, it, that, your story doesn't matter. What matters is, Kofi, what do you have on your table? Even if you are talking of rent and you go to someone, you ask, the first thing the person will ask you, how much have you accumulated? that you want me to help you rent your house. It becomes so annoying when you tell the president I don't have anything. True or false? No, it's absolutely true. Because if you're not willing to invest in yourself, what makes you think I'm willing to invest in you? God. You know, if you come to me and say, my rent is 3,000, but I have 2,800, mm -hmm. I'm not helping you pay your rent. Mm -hmm. I'm just giving you an advantage, pushing you over. Now, if you have zero, that means I have to pay your rent. Mm. No, that doesn't work. Good. It doesn't work for, for anybody. Yeah. Good. You know, just like I, I completely 100% agree with what he did. Mm -hmm. My reasons are a little different, mm -hmm. but I do agree with what he did. Mm -hmm. Because if he had given you the money to do your ownership, 
we will not be sitting. No, here. we won't. No, we will not start. Because one thing I've learned is that easy come, easy go, right? Unless the money that you get easily is the money that you spend without thinking. You spend it easily. Easy mm. come, easy go. Mm. But if you work for it, now if, you, if you're going to spend it, you're going to be careful mm. because you know what it took to make that money. To get there. You get it? Oh. So that's, that's my way of looking at it. Mm. You know, I mean, I have been in the business, as you well know, and I made that mistake. But then I had to catch myself. That's why the story was so, was so, resonated mm. so much with me, because I had to do the same thing. But your case was the positive outcome, mine was went the other way. Yeah. Right? To this day, that person is not talking to me. Mm. Because, well, you live in America, you have the money, so you can, you can help me do the auto ship, but you refused. When I try to make the person understand that, look, you're not in business for me. What you're doing is not for me, it's for yep. you and your family and yeah. whoever depends on you. And one thing I've realized is that, oh, I, I know is that nobody owns anybody anything. Say that again. <laughs> nobody owns anybody anything. It doesn't matter whether your father, your mother, your uncle, your auntie. You should understand one thing. And that, that's with me. Nobody owns me anything that I'm entitled to. That Kofi is my friend, so whatever Kofi has, has to come to me. It doesn't work that way. Okay? Uh, then this, this it, it really pleases me. You, you see, I'm smiling. <laughs> it pleases me to hear somebody who lives here say that. Mm. Because in our culture, mm. we put people before anything else. Mm. We put people before time. We put people be before anything else. We put people. Mm. Right? So that makes for things like what's yours is mine. Mm. We're just friends, but what's mm. yours is mine. mine. Mm. I'm so happy that you said that. Mm. Nobody owes you anything. Anything. Zero. Mm. Nobody Zero. owes you anything. Yeah. If you want something, you got to go get it. Mm. You know, don't wait for somebody to come and save you because no one is coming. Nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you anything. If you Please, get it, fine. Let me make that message. So, what it means is that, yes, what it means is that if by God's grace, Kofi feels like, oh, Frank, take 100 Ghana cities. Doesn't mean you owe me anything. So in my life, I don't do budgets with people's help, intended help. Let me put it that way. That, oh, okay, uh, Kofi is from the US and, and he oh, definitely is my friend. I, he needs to give me money. No. I'll put it this way. Because you're a diamond. Oh, yes. You Come on. We know how much the diamonds are earning. Yes. So how much is 700 Ghana cities compared to that plenty diamond money? You don't owe him anything. That anything. person worked together. And if the person didn't work together, diamond, it will not be sustainable. Mm. Yeah. It will flop. It will flop. I agree. You know. And the, the, the other thing for me, the other thing is, there are things that are more valuable than money. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, that was my if lesson. I, if I get you auto ship, literally, I'm giving you money. Mm -hmm. If I do you order your auto ship today, but you don't have the tools to make more money by yourself. Mm. Guess what? Now I have become your bank. And you're going to be coming back to me every time you hit a, a liability. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Right? I'd rather give you knowledge. Mm. Yeah. And the gift he gave you, I don't think there's a way you can pay him back. You can mm. only pay it forward. Exactly. That's, that's another one of my Yes. Things. Paid forward. Yes. <laughs> so, Prof, tell me. Well. During this. What are the lessons? Give me three. What three lessons you've learned from this? First thing, leadership is a lot of things. It's, it's, and one of the, there's, there are eight principles of leadership that Eric actually teaches. The five levels of leadership is powerful. But I'm going to pick on just one related to this. And one of them is that a leader has to be unreasonable. A leader, a leader must be unreasonable. It is not everything that you would do that would be reasonable to the people. 
But eventually, they will come to realize that you were good to them. Even if they can't come back to come and tell you they know. Okay? And, and, and they go with it. Okay? And, and that is one thing. And again, it's difficult to be unreasonable because at that time, it will not make reason. But you know by virtue of principles in life that in the end, value will command its own return. You know. And so, one of the things, if you are a leader, a leader in anything, you have to be unreasonable. It's not everything you condone. If there's something going on that is wrong, you got to nip it in the bud. If it is going to affect your team, you got to nip it. If there's uh, somebody who is misbehaving in the team and you, that person is generating volumes for you and because the person is generating volumes for you, you don't want to kick that person out of your life in the team, you will spoil the entire broth. So you got to nip it in the bud. That is being unreasonable. That is not about favoritism and nepotism. That is being unreasonable, you know, because you know, if you continue to be doing the ownership for people, you know it, is a, it doesn't go against the principles of the business. You've got to nip it in the bud. You've got to be unreasonable. It's not about reason, because they will never see reason to that. And once you maintain that principle, you get the right people. And you sustain your business. I'm telling you, there have been so many people who haven't been that unreasonable. They've, they've lost all of the people. Friends, family, you know, blood, all of those things, they've lost them all. And it is better to go with a few that are quality than to go with the many that are not of quality. So that's the first one. The second point is that you've got to be able to sustain pain for long. Pain is a necessary evil. In, see, when you are when you, when you get something by yourself, it's called achievement. When you're able to help somebody achieve, it's called success. When you are, the person is able to do it when you are not there, it's called legacy. So for you to achieve the point of legacy, you must be able to teach the person to do it when you are not there. The Chinese say, ting shung hao, hao ting shung, which means I teach a child how to fish. Don't fish for the child. Okay? Because if you are not there one day, the child will go hungry. And so, be ready to contain pain. As a leader, you've got to be ready to contain pain. That, that will help you to be able to go through things. The greatest leaders have contained that. Jesus had to contain pain. The greatest of pain is to die for humankind. You've got to be unreasonable. At some point, Peter says, come on, Lord. This cannot happen to you. You dying in Jerusalem, it's not going to pass. He says, get away from me, Satan. You've got to be unreasonable and go with it. Nelson Mandela had to go through a lot of pain for 27 years before he came out clean on the other side. It didn't make sense. Some people, there's a movie they've made. Some people had to do a lot of demonstrations and things. He had to go through it. As a leader, when you're going through this process, that toughens you. And you teach a lot of people because it's bigger than you. The vision is bigger than you. Okay. And then the finally, you, as a leader, you got to work. You see... You don't lead from back. You lead from back. And you are not a leader. You are a lead. You are only holding the torch. Others will follow you. The day you stop holding that torch, others will leave you. And they will follow them. So that torch can be held by somebody. So you can't say I'm a leader when you are not actually holding the torch. So as a leader, you've got to make your hands dirty. You see, I didn't tell him that I would let him go do it. I had to be dirty. We were all not sleeping. We were all not sleeping those three days that he's talking about. We were all fighting and all of that. We had to, I had to be with him. I had to be calling with him. I had to be adding the people to him, you know, doing everything. We were entering the name. Sometimes I would call hey, Frank, 14 names. We need to register them. He says, take half. Let me take half. You've got to be working with your team member every time so that the team member will feel part of it. The team member doesn't feel you just as a mentor or a leader, but it feels you as you are your guide, but you are also a friendly guide. And that has to be with a person for long. And when you do that for long, you see that they will do the same thing and they will ripple the situation and eventually you will have a magnificent organization. It is hard. But that's how it has to be. It has to be hard. <laughs> awesome. Gentlemen, I want to say a big thank you for sharing this uh, inspiring story. And I hope somebody somewhere is going through the same thing and is going to, by luck or by design, look at this video and say, oh, I didn't know 
that's what Rain has to go through. I didn't know that what Prof had to do in order for Frank to be where he is. So I'm going to take that with me and I'm going to try to follow. So thank you very much for coming in again. And uh, I know you had to travel quite a bit to be here. And I know you guys have something coming up in the next few minutes. So I'm going to let you go and I'm going to say big, big, big thank you. And I would love to have you back again. Uh, we'll do a follow up maybe in a year. And, and just to see where where you where you are, yeah. Because your your story is a very inspiring story, yeah. You know, and not just you, both of you, because it, 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 nobody does it alone, mm. right? And this goes to show that nobody does it alone. You always need somebody, you know, to, to support in in any way possible. So that has happened. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you very much.